that sucks a lot. Here's a, here's a one we picked up from a wrecked station as well, and then we go to another wrecked station, and he just loses up to live. Saved from a station and killed by a station. Station, station, we can purchase through here. Um, six, buying six for twelve. That seems nah, that's silly price. I think. That sucks. We could have um, got someone good perk as well on a father too but we done done made ourselves poor detected an automated rebel scout attacking a small refalling outpost we will intervene heresy I say why you gotta be a dick like I own up. Damn it. Damn. Actually, burning quite for a few for quite a few missiles. That's not good. There we go. Burst laser and Albert beam. That's what we're looking for. And there we go. Ah, oh, damn! I might need a bit more for that third level of shields. You have encountered a refugee ship drifting in space. It looks as if it was fleeing the rebel advance and ran out of fuel. Its distress beacon is active, but you're not sure anyone is aboard. Hail them. As you hail the refugee ship, a slug ship jumps into this system. It was hunting the refugee ship for sport and now they found you instead. Well, that's dark times for them because they don't know who they're going up against. The refugee ship claims the slugs have been hounding them since they left their homeworld. As a gesture of goodwill, and seeing how effectively you dispatch the enemy ship, they offer up what supplies they can spare. I have faith on your. Pow. Noise. Pop to the store. 
I think I'll keep going actually, I'm not sure. There's only one other ship at this beacon, and it is showing heavy damage. You receive a message on your console. Greetings, traveller. We were crippled by a band of pirates and are now forced to sell our remaining valuable equipment to acquire the necessary supplies to get home. Advanced Rebel Automated Ship remains stationed near a small Rebel space station. Sensors indicate it's a strong vessel for military goods. Wait, what's it got first? Um, that might be hacking. You know what? We'll avoid it. We won't get engaged with that one. Oh, we've got to go for the nebula, great. Let's just get the hell out of here. So surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels that hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Yeah. Oh, could have bought more crew. Unless we sell the whole laser, which could do. Ar oh, do we want to sell Artemis? Fuck it. Pretty bad decision, but that's how we do. Declan, you you assume of um, Joel's place, and will bear the name of Ellie. Forward crew. Oh, I think I was stupid I didn't jump to the next area. Next sector, yeah. That's good, I've got Ellie. Well, finish this first, so I've got I've just got some achievements. Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector before the pursuing rebels catch you. Congratulations, we're making it to the fifth sector you've unlocked the NG player will ship for future playthroughs. I thought I'd delete it, I think that's actually a mod I've got installed while I'm getting this extra scrap, so I think I'm cheating. <laughs> I swear I like eradicated it from the system, but apparently not. I thought I was accumulating these shields a bit too easily. Hmm. Before I uh, eradicated that mod, I like, completely cleansed it. Ooh, that's a bit pricey. Um. Um. I don't know, really. Better evasion, I guess. It's a little bit of distress. This distress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your senses are picking up a single life form. Let's check it out. You find a coin that seems to have been recently attacked. Exploring the devastation, you find a lone survivor. Ooh, fuck it. Charlie, he states that he was an infantry member for being stranded. He happily offers his service for a time in exchange for getting off that rock. 
Charlie, Charlie. Um, oh god, what can we call you? Eddard. Eddard, you will be... I should actually check their perks. Crew. Eddard. Or you should be manning the weapons, actually. Sauron and Ellie should do the weapons. But I think they're ready being manned, so... I guess you could man the cameras. Now you, you'll man, you'll man Joel's place in his honour. At first, it appears you've arrived in an empty system, but the ship appears from behind a planet and howls you. Ha ha! I am the dread pirate Tukai, prepared to get shanked. Well, we'll see about that. And now that we've got Eddard and the cameras, Eddard Stark, we can um, basically see what the little shits are up to. Ah, oh, it wasn't ready. No. Nine. Oh damn, they're still alive, but they're they're pretty much done. <laughs> it's pretty much ogre for them. Yeah. Hull repair. Nice, so I can sell to that. I'm gonna save up for them extra shields, I think. Oh, store! We'll buy some more of your. Do the remaining repairs. Hacking actually would be really good, but hang on. Ooh. Right. That sounds good, I might do that. And we've got them drone parts, so... Ah, uh, but... Oh uh, yeah, we'd have to have a continuous supply to use them. You know what, I might not. Nah, screw it. I think I'll focus on the shields. Expensive as fuck, but we'll get there. Let's help this peep out. Find the source of the stress core, a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. The fire suppression system is not responding. You pull up alongside the station and cut through their hole. You are able to rescue a few survivors but many more are lost. One of the survivors offers to join your crew and you offload the rest of the nearby station. Nice, who do we have? We have Jones. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones, Jones, wake up.